What's up YouTube? My name is Marvin Aziz. I'm a freelance developer and today I want to show you how to connect Webflow to Airtable, right? So as soon as you're going to learn how to do this, you will be able to extract any data coming from Webflow, either it's the CMS data or maybe some e-commerce data, new orders coming in, right? Or let's say you want to collect all the form submissions in Airtable and work with them otherwise, um, you will be able to do so after this tutorial. So um, we're going to learn how to do this using Make, formerly known as Integromat. I'm a huge fan um, because um, I have created a lot of auto automations using um, Make. Yeah, it's bringing me huge value. So I'm um, also a big time saver. I'm very excited about this one. It's going to be a quick tutorial, so let's jump into this. So, in order to create the automation um, we're building today, um, you will need three tools basically, right? So, first of all, Webflow, obviously. Then you are going to need Make, you can see right here. And you will also need um, to sign up for Airtable. So, um, Make comes with a free tier. Just create an account, there's no credit card required. Um, you can use the link in the description. Um, it's an affiliate link, so um, it's a huge support for the channel, actually. I would really appreciate if you could use that. Feel free to go ahead, create an account, and you're good to go. Also, um, you're gonna need another account for Airtable. Airtable is great to store any data and um, organize it in the way you need it, right? Also, it enables you to add even more automation after the data is coming in. So, for example, let's say you've got uh, data coming in from, let's say, Twitter, because you created a Twitter post and you collect the post, you want to automatically create a task out of that. For example, write a newsletter for that Twitter post, right? You would be able to do that within Airtable, obviously also within Make, but yeah, you know, <clears throat> you can play around with it, uh, find the best suitable solution for you. Um, they are both huge value bombs. Um, I can highly recommend both tools. So yeah, make sure to use the link in the description. Highly appreciate that. Um, let's jump into creating the automation. So we are going to build a basic automation, uh, which is going to collect all the form submissions coming from Webflow, right? And I want to store all those submissions in a table using Airtable. So as soon as you signed up for Make, you're gonna land on your dashboard and you can go ahead and create a new scenario. So scenarios are basically the automations. Um, it's quite similar to a Zap from Zapier, um, only that in my opinion, um, Make is like the, the, the Zapier on fire, right? Um, you can do a lot more and you're, you're more flexible with it as well, <clears throat> right? So um, click on the plus sign and search for Webflow. So here ca you can see what Make is capable of doing using Webflow, right? Um, it can list a site. Um, it can list your CMS items, it can delete them, publish them, update them, create an item, um, list orders, update orders, mark orders, and even make custom API calls, right? Um, but we are going to use the watch events trigger um, as a webhook, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add a hook and you will need to add your connection, right? So um, I've already done that, but um, as soon as you click here, it's just gonna connect you to your Webflow account and you can basically choose whatever website you are gonna you are going to use, right? So I'm gonna just quickly do that. I'm gonna use my private account Right, and there we go. I've got my Webflow connection and now I can choose my site 
and I can choose the trigger type, right? So as soon as a form submission comes in, I want make to get started, right? So that's all it does so far, right? Um, there's even a um, little webhook you, can, you could use if you have another application um, or maybe custom code you can, could use that in, but we can ignore that for now and just click on OK. So now it's actually watching all the form submissions coming in and as soon as it's starting, it would just display data here, right? Um, we need to tell it what to do with the, with the data, right? So I'm gonna add another, another block and I'm going to search for air table, right? And here you can again see all the functionality. Um, you can search records, get records, update records, upsearch record, delete records, and even make custom API calls with make. For now, I am going to create a record in a table. And again, you can just go ahead and add your um, connection this time you are going to need your API token. But before we add our token, we are going to create a new base, right? So let's add a base and an Airtable. I'm going to name this one web to the flow form submissions. I want to have the appearance to be in orange. And, oops, we're good to go, right? So the table is gonna be called submissions and I wanna save them as records. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for the API key. You will find it in your account settings. Just copy and paste it, save it and you will be able to choose your base. So it's the web to the flow form submissions for me, and I'm gonna choose the submissions table, right? So now it's already showing me all the columns in that table, right? So you can see name, notes, assignee, and status. So now I wanna make sure that I have the same columns I am using in my actual form within Webflow, right? So if I go to work with me to my form, I'll be able to see that I have a name field, an email field, a question regarding the service, the, the potential customer needs, and the message field, right? And then the viewer is able to submit it. All right, so let's add these to the columns. So name is fine, email, let's change this one to email, boom, save. Then we have type of service and it's not a select, but it's a long text. No formatting for now. I'm gonna add another column, another um, I'm gonna call it message. Message. Yeah. And it's gonna be long text as well. Create field. And we should be good to go, right? I'm gonna rename that real quick. It's called email. And that should be it. I think we can get rid of this one actually. Boom. So now that we have a table set up, we are ready to move on with make. So let's head over. And up here at the table, I'm gonna click this little refresh button. So it's gonna load the fields again. And we will be able to see all of a sudden new fields, right? So we've got the name email, type of service, and message. So what are we going to insert in there? Well, first of all, we need to 
basically load data from workflow. So let's run this module only. So now it's waiting for the form to be submitted. So I'm going to insert my name, my email, um, the service I need. I need a landing page for my plumbing business, right? And the message, hi, Martin. Is this automation working already? Okay, let's submit it. Thank you, your submission has been received. All right, let's have a look if the data came through and there you can see it. There's a little one, you can click on it and in there you are able to see all the data that came through, right? So you get the name of the email form, you get the site ID, you get the date and the time and you get the webhook ID. Also, you get a data collection, right? And if you open that one, you will be able to see all the data I submitted, right? So my name, the email, the service and the message, right? So let's move on and use that data to insert it in here because now you can actually see all the data that came through. So I'm going to use the name. I'm going to use the email and drag it in here. I'm going to use the service and drag it in here. And I'm going to use the message and drag it in here. Actually, what I would like to do as well is to add another field with the date because that might be important as well, right? So let's actually go ahead and add another field. And for this one, I'm going to call it date and it's going to be a date field, right? So the date format is going to be, okay, let's think about the date format. Mm, or let's, let's first of all have a look at the data that's coming in because we want to make it as easy as possible, right? Um, so it's the date is 3rd of November 2022 and the time, right? So 3rd November 2022, include time, it's 24 hours format. Mm, yeah, that should do. All right, let's reload the fields. And fill in the date field as well. So we've got the date. It's in there. Let's save it down here. And let's run it once. And now, as you can tell, it's again watching events so we would need to create another form submission but what we can do instead is simply run this module only and type in the data we want right so let's say for example service email um, email at, at email.com still Marvin it's me message is high and the date is gonna be this one right boom and it has created a record apparently so if you click on the number one you can see the input Right, that's the input and um, the output is the collection. Right, so you can see the ID of the webhook and the date it has been created. So let's check into a table and there you go. You can already see the submission. And you can as well see three empty ones because we created a couple of empty ones. But don't worry, we can just get rid of those. Dun, dun, dun. Delete. Boom. There we go. So now you have the email, the service, the message, and the date. 
and it's even separating the date, the day and the time, which is, comes in really handy. Now, if you want to add a tag, for example, right? So let's add a tag. Bum, bum, bum. Um, this one is a potential client. Let's call them a lead. This one would be, for example, um, let's say he's just um, asking a question. Question. And this one is, or oh, this one is already a client. Okay. And now you are going to be able to just tag your form submissions, right? So this one would be a potential lead. And the next one could be whatever, right? So let's say there's another one coming in. Let's call him John this time. John has the email address of John at doe.com. He needs um, web design for my business. And the message is going to be, hi Marvin. Um, I am already a client of yours. Could you please look into my project? I need another landing page to be optimized for conversions. Submit it. Boom, submit it. Let's see. <clears throat> so in here you can also see the history, right? If you click on the history tab and there you can tell ooh, it's 11. Yeah, that might not be it actually. So in order to activate the automation, you actually have to turn it on, right? So you can either run it once or just turn it on down here. And I'm going to process existing, which means that um, there's already a existing form submission and it's going to send the data to Airtable as soon as I click it. So it's turned on. And now if you go back, we will be able to see the history. And within the history, you can tell that right now um, it just sub um, submitted some data and you can actually see the bytes and also the details of it. And you can tell that this is the submission by John Doe. It should be visible in Airtable as well, right? So John, John Doe, you have all the info and you can tag him as a client. Perfect. So that's basically it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something out of it. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, let me know if you have any special requests for video. I'm happy to add it to the pipeline and um, see you in the next one.